Welcome everyone. We're here to honor our best and brightest, our most outstanding students for the work that they have done over the last four years here at Southwestern University. Now, normally we would all be together in the chapel to celebrate as a community. However, this is still a pandemic era. And I want to first thank the faculty for all of the time, attention, mentoring, and support that they've given all of our students during the time that they have been students at Southwestern. And I'd also like to thank the students for being the best examples of a Southwestern University education. And I'm very excited to learn more about all of the fascinating things that they will be doing with their lives post Southwestern University. This is also an occasion to thank our generous donors for all of the support that they give Southwestern and because they are part of our community and because of their giving, they will make us an even better community in the years to come. And so to everyone, you are going to have a treat. You're going to hear from faculty, introduce students, and you will have the opportunity to meet some of our wonderful Southwestern Pirates. And so students, even though you are graduating, Remember to always love your alma mater because we love you here at Southwestern University. Hi, Bob Bednar, Comp Studies. This year's recipient of the Laura Kukendall Student of the Year Award is Ryan Wilburn. The award is named for the first wave feminist who was the director of the Expression Department at Southwestern from 1918 to, to 1935. About Ryan, though. I've done several classes with Ryan, so I know she's super smart, and that's awesome. But the other reason that she's getting this award is she's deeply committed to living our politics by helping us make sure the classroom is an inclusive space of engagement where everyone's perspective matters. My department colleagues agree, both LB and Renegar emphasized Ryan's generosity, your curiosity, and her commitment to collaboration. The thing I admire most about Ryan is that she's deliberately chosen challenging projects focused on the power of words and images to both limit and enable social justice. Her methods project was ambitious in analysis of how Megan Thee Stallion critiques dominant cultural representations of black femininity. In Capstone, Ryan is analyzing the discourse generated last fall when pop icon Harry Styles appeared on the cover of Vogue wearing a dress. It's been great to watch Ryan steer right into difficult questions about how dominant culture works, but also how people resist it using the same tools. No doubts caused her more stress than if she'd chosen easier projects, but Ryan dives in and her excellent work speaks for itself. In short, Every group needs people like Ryan who can articulate their own voice while actively engaging their colleagues, hearing them, supporting them, and also challenging them. Congratulations, Ryan. Hi, I'm Dirk Early, Professor of Economics, and it's my honor on behalf of the Department of Economics and Business to announce our Outstanding Economics Student Award this year goes to Nora Roy. For our award, we are looking for someone who, among other things, embodies excellence in our classes, and Nora fits that criteria well. Her record of accomplishments across her offerings shows her capabilities across a variety of topics within economics. Further evidence of her impressive work in the classroom is her placement on the Dean's List each semester she's been at Southwestern and her involvement with the Alpha Chi and Sigma Delta Pi Hispanic Honor Societies. I believe her path to Southwestern is also worth noting. Nora is not a traditional Southwestern student. Uh, she had nearly a decade of work experience before making her way here to finish her undergraduate degree. And those experiences have shaped who she is as a student and how she plans to use economics in the future. In particular, her appreciation for economics stems from the contributions economics has made to our understanding of the causes and consequences of inequality. And she does not see this merely as an academic exercise, but plans to use her background in economics to help shape a better future for those who struggle and have been left behind. To do so, she will attend graduate school next year, working towards a master's degree in community and regional planning, and will then move into a career in public policy. Given her passion and capabilities, we have no doubt that Nora will be an agent for positive change and that her work will touch the lives of many. For this and all the reasons mentioned above, let me again stress how delighted we are to present Nora Roy 
with the Outstanding Student Economics Award for the 2020-21 academic year. Congratulations. I am delighted to present the Merriman Morton Business Leadership Award to Connor Medina. Like Merriman Morton, Connor demonstrates character and integrity in everything he does. Connor is a member of the Financial Analyst Program, where he works with a team of other students to manage the investment decisions for a portion of the university's endowment. He is a member of the Lab for Innovative Ventures and Entrepreneurship, where he's conducting market research so he can take an idea from business concept to the development of a business plan. Connor has also been a leader on the university men's lacrosse team in the Phi Delta Theta organization. In summer 2019, Connor completed a competitive internship with Gallagher in the Houston, Texas office. In the following year, he completed a technology consulting internship with OTG Consulting in Denver, Colorado. Having had Connor in multiple classes, I can tell you, he adds value to every single thing he does, and he makes anything he is a part of better. To quote the great Iron Man, part of the journey is the end. And while your time at Southwestern as a student is quickly coming to an end, Connor, we know that your connection to the university will not end. We will be cheering for you in everything you pursue, and we are incredibly proud of you. Congratulations, Connor. The William Nick Sykes Award was established in 2002 in recognition of Nick Sykes, who served the Education Department and Southwestern University for 28 years. The award, award recognizes an outstanding student who demonstrates commitment to and promotion of teaching and advocacy for children and youth. Ali certainly embraces a love for teaching, a love for her students, and passion about her profession. She just absolutely loves to plan lessons, implement them, and critique her own work. When placed in Granger ISD in first grade, she developed a math lesson where children positioned themselves on a child-sized number line. Mm -hmm. The teacher was so impressed with the children's response to it that she told her they were making it part of the first grade curriculum at Granger. On her first day of Total Teach, when she takes over a classroom for the first time with total responsibility, Allie was doing a science experiment. And um, she used a heat lamp for the sun in an astronomy lesson and accidentally set the lamp on fire, which I'm sure she, she quickly and gracefully handled the situation. But I think it's a wonderful metaphor for um, Allie because I know she's going to be igniting um, flames in the hearts and minds of children for many years to come. I would like to congratulate Katie Rydell as the recipient of the Judson S. Custer Outstanding Education Student Memorial Award. This award honors an outstanding education student in recognition and memory of Judson S. Custer who served Southwestern University in the Education Department from 1949 to 1989. I have had the pleasure of having Katie in five classes and can attest to her work at Southwestern, and it has been exemplary. I often use her work as examples for future classes. She's a member of Alpha Chi and Academic Honor Society, as well as an Education Honor Society, Katie Pye. Her fellow education students recognized her ability to plan and lead and elected her to serve as Katie Pye's president for 2020. One of the classes Katie and I had together was a writing class, which is where I discovered what a talented writer she was. To prepare this presentation, I went back to her poetry and spent half an hour reveling in the beauty of her poetic voice. I would like to share her six-word memoir with you now. She wrote, there is room for me here. When I asked her about it, she said, I was always a perfectionist. I always thought I should be able to do better. And then I began to recognize the value in appreciating who I am in reveling in the growth of becoming. Katie not only found room here at Southwestern for herself, she made a home. Her impact on those who have worked with her, professors, fellow students, cooperating teachers is extraordinary. Katie also made a room for herself in the classroom. I've seen everything from a Zoom guided right reading group with kindergartners to fourth graders rapping about the phases of the moon. And this I know, as Katie ventures out into the world as a new teacher, she will welcome all her students and say, there is room for you here. Congratulations, Katie. 
the Judson S. Custer Outstanding Education Student Memorial Award honors an outstanding education student in recognition and memory of Judson S. Custer, who served Southwestern University and the Education Department for 40 years. The recipient is selected for excellence in both academic achievement and teaching. Sister Maria Reginald certainly meets both these criteria. She is an outstanding scholar in both math and every other course, as well as her education courses, with a perfect GPA and um, just excels in her academic work. She also absolutely loves math and teaching. Um, she approaches math and, with a playful attitude and deep interest in enjoyments for the aesthetics of math. I see her as somebody with a lightness of spirit and seriousness of purpose. She is positive, supportive, and challenges ideas and embraces teaching challenges with creativity. She encourages her students to play with mathematics. I know she will share her passion for mathematics with her future students for many years to come. The Education Department at Southwestern University awards Brandon Jennings the King Trowbridge Parks Award for Social Justice in Education. This award is presented to an outstanding pre-service teacher whose knowledge, passion, and actions support the ongoing struggle for social justice and civil rights through and within preschool to 12th grades. In his education courses at Southwestern and in his field placements, Brandon has demonstrated a commitment to social justice education. His professors, including myself, have been impressed by the creative lessons Brandon has designed around social justice, which prioritize equity, respect, and critical thinking. For one of my classes, Brandon designed a week-long literacy unit that explored the history of activism by American athletes. Last fall, Brandon also designed and presented a culminating project intended to increase his classmates' awareness of the physical, mental, and social impacts of poverty on students. In doing so, Brandon also examined his own beliefs in his ongoing commitment to his future students. As he wrote, the biggest thing I have to do is encourage and remind my students that their voice matters, their stories matter, they matter. It is my privilege to present Brandon Jennings with this award on behalf of the entire education department. Hi, I'm Dr. Alicia Moore, and I am the proud chair of the Department of Education at Southwestern University. Today, I am presenting the Pre-Service Educator of the Year Award. This award is sponsored by the Education Deans of Independent Colleges and Universities of Texas. The award is given to the Outstanding Pre-Service Teacher of the Year at each member institution, and the recipient is selected by the Department of Education faculty at those institutions. This year's Southwestern University recipient of this award is Mariana Ketseri. The award recognizes a student teacher who has demonstrated the ability to plan and develop classroom management skills and instructional strategies that support all students, establish interpersonal relationships with students, parents, faculty, and staff, and reflect powerfully on their student teaching experience. But more importantly, we chose Mariana because of her focus on middle school teaching in which she has worked both remotely and in person with her students. She brings high energy to her lessons and has built strong, positive relationships with her students and her colleagues. Her excitement is contagious, whether she is conjugating verbs or explaining how Spanish vocabulary helps her students to think differently about the concepts they are learning or the ideas they are working to convey. As well, she is not shy about incorporating technology into her lessons and carefully develops her students' skills, working with a variety of platforms and interactive sites. As she endeavors to make this world a better place, one child at a time, we are honored to have selected Mariana Ketseri to receive this award. She is certainly a deserving honoree. She will receive a plaque which is provided by the organization. Thank you and congratulations, Mariana. On behalf of the English department, I'm delighted to be presenting the Carwell Herbert Rose Prize 
to two outstanding graduating seniors, Megan Betancourt and Kay Teekle. While Kay and Megan are the award recipients in 2021, they are representing an outstanding group of senior majors. It was a very difficult choice for the department to make. I want to start by celebrating Kay Teekle. Looking past her very gaudy grade point average, Kay is just a delight to work with. I've had the good fortune to be her advisor since she came to Southwestern. From the first, Kay has had a clear sense of where her passions are and what areas she has wanted to explore. It has always been a pleasure just to be able to sit and chat with Kay, whether virtually or face to face. And as she approaches graduation, I'm sorry to think those opportunities will be diminishing. Her interests and her skill set are broad. Kay has one foot in the humanities and another in fine arts. She has a passion for studio art as well as for studying literature, but she has thrived in every area she has studied in while at SU. And she's made a splash on the international stage, writing copy while interning in London for an organization supporting expats in the UK. Pretty good for a quiet young woman from Nagadoches. But what I want to emphasize most in speaking of Kay, over and above offering praise for her elegant writing, and her incisive analyses of the challenging material she's addressing in class is what a constructive presence she has been for both faculty and students during her time here. In their comments about Kay, my colleagues stress how she is a careful, imaginative reader, a thoughtful listener, and a constructive interlocutor in class discussion. She has a tremendous knack for building on and enriching the work going forward in class, and my colleagues and I agree that when Kay graduates, we will miss most the intellectual generosity she has demonstrated throughout her time at Southwestern. We are delighted to name Kay Teekle a winner of the Carwell Herbert Rose Prize. The second recipient of the Carwell Herbert Rose Prize for Outstanding English Major is Megan Betancourt. Some claim the most impressive hero in English literature is Rudyard Kipling's Ricky Ticky Tabby, who most fully realized the motto of the Mongoose family, go and find out. That could be Megan Betancourt's motto, too. Megan is distinguished by a tremendous love of learning. She's unfailingly curious and has an unflagging interest in learning a new material, posing big questions both about what she's studying and her own role as a learner. Whether she's looking at gender roles in a Joyce Carol Oates short story, the tenuous legal methods for settling disputes in, in medieval Iceland, or her own passion for John Krakauer's Into the Wild, she is always ready to challenge received ideas about a text and her own assumptions about it. Her work in her English classes is grounded in an acute attention to the language of the text she's reading and an ability to identify what matters most in them. She cares deeply about writing and writing well. As a result, she's able to synthesize complex ideas and communicate them elegantly. It's always gratifying to have Megan in class. She has shaken up how I teach a number of texts including this semester, how I approached some canonical Old English poems, and started me down a path of devising a new course that responds to the work she did in her capstone paper. My colleagues all comment on Megan's imagination, intelligence, her lively sense of humor, and the unflagging energy she brings to her coursework, energy that she is able to communicate effectively to classmates and faculty alike. Looking ahead to her graduation is a bittersweet thing for the English faculty, since we, we will miss her presence in our classes. But in recognition for all she has done and achieved, we are delighted to name Megan Betancourt a winner of the Carwell Herbert Rose Prize. It is my distinct pleasure to honor Lizzie Berry with the 2021 Jan C. Dawson Award for Excellence in History. Named for an emerita colleague, this award recognizes exceptional work in historical writing and research, and no one epitomizes that more than Lizzie. From her very first class here at Southwestern, her quiet demeanor, and quiet, I should add, only in class and upon first meeting, don't let her fool you, belies a palpable and infectious enthusiasm, abiding commitment and discipline, and sheer aptitude and brilliance for our discipline. This year, I've had the incomparable experience supporting Lizzie through an impressive honors project on gender and generation in the Irish Troubles, foregrounding a set of Republican women. Throughout the process, she's demonstrated her hallmark work ethic, good humor, and attentiveness to the important work she's doing. I could go on and on about Lizzie's abilities, how she should never doubt herself, even though she often does, because her work is superb, 
and how glad I am that a friend elbowed her hard enough in my empires class that she began speaking out, and how lucky I am to have read her musings on Ireland from the potato famine through the Tudors down to the 1980s. As she knows, I rarely want for words, but there truly aren't enough to express what Lizzie has accomplished and what she's meant to me, my colleagues, and her fellow students. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your world for the last four years. Congratulations, Lizzie. Hello, I'm Dr. Erika Berot. On behalf of the German program in the Department of Modern Languages and Literatures, I am so pleased to honor Ryan Christopher Collins with our Outstanding Student Award. Ryan will be graduating with a double major in German and Business. Ryan completed an outstanding capstone project that connects his interests in history, eyewitness narratives, and archival work. His thesis is titled Untold Tales, the History of the Merzbach Family from the Personal Documents of Dr. Uta Merzbach. Ryan's thesis emerged from his work as my research assistant. We are collaborating on creating a website that will provide access to a child's experience of the Holocaust. Ryan is an excellent leader and mentor on campus, energizing our German club, our financial analyst program, mock trial and the swim team, and he is head RA on campus. Please join me in congratulating Ryan. Für die Zukunft wünsche ich dir viel Glück und alles Gute. Hello, I'm Abby Dings, and on behalf of the Spanish department, I'm very pleased to present this year's award for Outstanding Student of Spanish to Mariana Cazzeri. Mariana is a dedicated, engaged, and talented student who can always be counted on to contribute thoughtful insights to classroom discussions. Her ability to express herself in Spanish, both in speech and in writing, is truly fantastic. Her coursework also shows really strong skills in research and an analysis. Last spring, in an upper-level Spanish sociolinguistics class, Mariana explored the factors that contribute to the maintenance of Spanish among the children and grandchildren of immigrants. Her thoughtful analysis of interview data found that community and cultural pride are very important factors in language maintenance. Mariana is also an education major, and I'm sure that as a future teacher, she'll be able to apply findings such as these to the classroom. We are so excited to see what comes next in Mariana's life. Felicidades por tu graduación, Mariana. We do not give the John Score Honors Award in philosophy every year. And when we do, we give it to just one outstanding student. But this year, we really couldn't select just one of these two excellent students, Alejandro Bott and Leah Cadwallader Daniel. Both Leah and Alejandro are clearly passionate about philosophy, that much anyone who has taught them can attest to. But it's how they are passionate about philosophy that should be appreciated. For instance, it takes a lot of time and effort to restart basically from scratch, a student-run organization like the Philosophy Club. Along with Theo Persic, Alejandro and Leah rebuilt the group even during a pandemic, demonstrating a passion for and a commitment to a philosophical community rather than philosophy as an individual practice. I think that the co-founders would agree that Leah in particular should be recognized for her contribution. She took initiative in getting the club a web presence at, on the SU website and did her fair share of the busy work but what is less readily apparent is her work of taking point in organizing events, delegating to maintain momentum, and moderating interpersonal issues that inevitably come up in the context of wider club membership. They're excellent capstone projects, both embodied in different ways, the central emphasis of our department, bringing close reflection on texts and ideas to bear on a better understanding of and response to pressing issues in the present moment. For Leah, this involved an effort at something like coming to terms with her own whiteness in relation to her feminism, 
and doing so through the arguments and conceptions of non-white feminists who develop accounts of alternative modes of listening to, amplifying, and thinking oneself into the different positionalities of others. Alejandro's project was in some ways interrelated. He wanted to make sense of something like the politics of immigration, but he approached his criticism of those politics through a much more structural, institutional, and historical analysis. What is the nation state? Why does it draw borders? How and why did these things come to be and what role did the historical development of capitalism play? What might different structures of governance look like that embodied some genuine multiracial democracy without the boundaries of citizen and immigrant? They both, in other words, took up a core approach in contemporary philosophy and developed it in powerful and insightful ways. Their projects complement each other but also challenge each other. In short, Leah and Alejandro exemplify the relevance of critical philosophy as a force toward decoloniality and border ontologies, and as a resource for reimagining and reconfiguring our worlds and lives. Our, de our department is delighted to bestow this award on both of them and to be represented by them. present the Political Science Department's Outstanding Student Award to Emily Gilby. She has not only demonstrated excellence in the classroom, but has worked tirelessly to improve democratic engagement on campus. In the lead up to the 2020 presidential election, she organized student poll workers, fielded all kinds of questions about the registration process, mail-in ballots, and how to vote. She designed registered, how to register handouts, picked up mail-in registration forms for the SU community, and helped us place them all around campus in accordance with COVID-19 protocols. She has served as SU's representative to a variety of state and national voter engagement organizations, including MTV's Plus One The Polls, the Campus Vote Project's Democracy Fellows, and the Annette Strauss Institute's Texas Civic Ambassadors Program. While Emily's work in the SU community is vital um, to our efforts to increase student voter turnout on campus, her honors project provides an important contribution to political science's understanding of young people's voting behavior. Using dozens of interviews with college-age people, she offers insight into their understanding of our political system, their decision to become engaged in politics, and the barriers they face in getting involved. Emily's commitment to rigorous academic research and to democratic and civic participation have already improved the Southwestern community, and I look forward to seeing what she can do in Texas and beyond. It's my pleasure to present Emma Lopez with the Outstanding Student Award in Political Science. I've worked with Emma in many political theory classes, and each semester I see her seamlessly bridging her social justice activism on campus with her engagement in the classroom. With herself, with her classmates, with her professors, with her major, with her institution, Emma is continually conscientious of the politics of knowledge production. Whose stories are we telling? Who are we leaving out? And how can we rethink how we do things, including how we do political science, to undo oppressive power structures? Emma is a stellar student from top to bottom, but more than this, she asks the hard questions with deep insight and clarity that remind us how living up to our ideals as individuals and as institutions is ongoing daily work. Thank you, Emma, and congratulations. The Political Science Department at Southwestern is proud to be home to the Florence Gould Scholarship Award. Dr. Gould was a trailblazer and longtime chair of Southwestern's department. When we have an exceptional female student pursuing graduate work, it's our honor to recognize them with this award. We're delighted this year to recognize Maureen Rendon, an exceptional young scholar, activist, artist, and human being. Ms. Rendon is the kind of student professors dream about bright, quick, and clever with compelling insights which draw on her background, interests, and commitments. In addition, she possesses a killer work ethic. But her extraordinary coursework is not even the best thing about her. Mirroring her academic work, her journey as an activist has been marked by bold challenges and a commitment to struggle for what is just and right, asking critical questions, pursuing answers, all while encouraging and supporting those she works with, expecting much from all of us, but even more from herself. In her intellectual pursuits, activism, and artistry, Ms. Rendon has distinguished herself while navigating the vagaries and complexities of our campus with a grace and aplomb that is frankly breathtaking. Few of us could do so 
with the composure and kindness that seems second nature to her. In every way, Maureen Rendon represents and reflects an unusual range of abilities, diversity, and deep humanity. Her lively mind, interests, and energy are an inspiration and an aspiration to us all. On behalf of the psychology department, I'm so excited to honor this year's outstanding BA student in psychology, Alyssa Sucrees. Alyssa's name will be inscribed on the Outstanding Student in Psychology Award in the Olin Building, and she'll receive a plaque and gift from our department. When considering her for this award, we were impressed by how quickly she rose to star status in our department. Just a year and a half ago, she joined SU as a brand new transfer student. She made an immediate positive impression on us with her outgoingness, her passion, and her intelligence. She's gone above and beyond to engage with each faculty member and her fellow students in a way that is, frankly, inspiring. I'm truly honored to be one of Alyssa's psychology mentors. She's exactly the kind of student that makes you want to teach because she's always bringing in new and thoughtful contributions, and she takes feedback as fodder for growth rather than judgment, and she's always striving to improve. Alyssa's currently in my capstone lab and on her way to publishing our research, a rare feat among undergraduates. Alyssa recently accepted a spot in a doctoral program at UT. Although she'll be just down the road, I'm going to miss her so much. Her sense of humor and her positive energy have been a bright light throughout these challenging times. Still, I'm over the moon with excitement for her to pursue her PhD and fulfill her dreams, as I'm 100% confident she will accomplish anything and everything she sets her mind to. Congratulations to you, Alyssa. We are so proud of you. I'm very excited to get to present Erin Meek with the Jesse E. Purdy BS in Psychology Award. There are many things I could say about Erin as a student, but one of them that really stands out is not just that he's able to learn difficult material, which he absolutely is, but that he really enjoys a challenge. He's excited by opportunities to learn, even when what he's learning is really difficult as is evidenced by the fact that after completing research methods, which is an incredibly challenging course, uh, he went on to take my advanced research methods class. I really appreciated his ability to endure through frustrating circumstances in many different times of his academic career, but it was particularly notable this last semester as his hard work and determination led to us being able to submit a manuscript to a journal. Aaron is also very self-directed when you give him a task, whether it's research or in the classroom, he gets it done. Regardless of obstacles he encounters, he's able to find ways to circumnavigate those. But my favorite thing about Aaron is the way he mentors his fellow students. Whether it's in the formal capacity as their TA or in an informal capacity, Aaron looks for students who are struggling with material and he loves explaining and teaching that to them, which I think is a true marker of his character. So true to the person that this award is named after, I have found Aaron to be a person who's high in intellectual curiosity, somebody who loves research and whose contributions make a classroom a better place. Aaron, it's been a pleasure working with you these last few years. My name is Dr. Sandy Nenga, and I'm a professor of sociology at Southwestern University. And it is my distinct honor and privilege to present the 2021 Frank E. Luxa Award in Sociology to Ms. Megan Peel. This departmental honor uh, is awarded to students who uh, demonstrate academic excellence and also embody a lot of our department's core priorities, such as intercultural learning, conducting research and presenting it at academic conferences, and working for social justice. Megan studied abroad in London with me and Dr. Howard in the fall of 2017. She has uh, used research papers from, for example, the sociological research methods class where she wrote a great paper about attitudes toward LGBT people uh, and presented that at the American Sociological Association's undergraduate honors program. As a part of her capstone research, Megan created a really creative and unique project where she examined the ways that college students use watching and discussing horror movies to manage their anxiety. Um, this is 
already been accepted to uh, the Southern Sociological Society meetings this spring for presentation. So this award is very well deserved. Congratulations, Megan. We're very, very proud of you. I could not be more thrilled to be honoring Alex Bell with the Gwen Kennedy Neville Award for the Outstanding Graduating Senior in Anthropology. The award is named after Southwestern's first professor of anthropology and is awarded to our highest academic performers who are also active beyond the classroom. Alex is the consummate awardee. Alex started out at Southwestern in my first year seminar with an astounding intellect, energy, and drive that they maintained through their four years at SU. Alex has an unparalleled passion to better understand the world and the injustices that plague it, and their academic work is brilliant. But what sets Alex even more apart is their capacity to create change and generate community. Alex has served as a leader in an array of social justice organizations on campus, and today is president of the Coalition for Diversity and Social Justice. They helped initiate the transformative annual The More You Know student panel on racism at SU, and have worked across numerous lines of difference in pushing the whole SU population towards greater equity, inclusion, and belonging. Alex is a Spanish minor and would have also completed a semester studying abroad in Chile, but COVID forced them to return to the US. Alex plans a career in education, which they will start with Teach for America in Houston this fall. Super congratulations, Alex. It's with great pleasure that I introduce Megan Mello as the recipient of the Vicente de Villa Student of the Year Award in Cellular and Molecular Biology. I'd like to just start off by sharing some contributions she's made to the institution. Uh, she's been a SHARP coordinator and a pirate host for a number of years, helping out the admissions department. She's been a student leader in the general chemistry tutoring program. She's also been a mentor for the science and math achiever teams or the SMART teams here at Southwestern University. I think what really stood out to us, though, in biology was the fact that she's, she's a very passionate about learning. With Megan, it's not about the grades, uh, although she gets really good grades, uh, but it's about the subject. It's about learning all about it. Um, we're also really impressed with kind of the questions Megan asks in class. She, uh, she asks questions that really challenge us, and we really enjoy that. While here at Southwestern, Megan um, kind of reevaluated what she wanted to do after her, uh, as her career here at Southwestern, and she decided she wanted to be a physician. And that made me very happy because she has all the characteristics of a good physician. She's compassionate, she has this thirst for knowledge, and she's humble enough to know when to ask for clarity, which is very important. I'm very excited to say she's been accepted to medical school, Texas A&M, and will be starting in the fall. Megan. On behalf of the biology department and myself, I just want to say congratulations and thank you for being part of the community. Hi, my name is Romy Burks and I am a professor of biology here at Southwestern. It gives me a great pleasure to congratulate Lauren Mascara on behalf of the biology department as she receives the Vicente Villa Biology Student of the Year Award in the area of ecology and evolutionary biology. That's a mouthful. You might ask uh, why ecology and evolutionary biology? Well, it's because Lauren has spent nearly three years of her undergraduate career uh, looking at research uh, involving freshwater non-native snails. And so in honor of that, I have uh, provided my snail hat and necklace. Uh, but more importantly, what I wanted to emphasize in my presentation was Lauren's connection with the arts and the intersection between art and science. One of the things that she is interested in presenting with her art as a double major is to visualize things that you don't see. And so Lauren actually studies environmental DNA, bits of pieces of DNA in the environment that you don't see. So what she has been doing is been collecting water to find apple snails before they get to the stage uh, as this artwork shows of laying eggs. Uh, she also does this by presenting different molecules and bonds in her artwork and you hopefully would get the chance to see that in display in the Fondren Jones Science Center. So on behalf of the department, congratulations, Lauren. The Robert L. Solon Award is named after my predecessor who taught organic chemistry at Southwestern from 1964 to 1996 
and is known for his dedication to undergraduate education as well as his research accomplishments. This, award, this honor is awarded annually to a student who has excelled in the organic chemistry classroom by demonstrating the ability to think critically, make connections between concepts, and apply their knowledge to new and challenging problems. Additionally, this student will show great strength of character by generously assisting other students while holding firm to the tenets of the honor code. Every year, one student stands out as exceptional, and last year, that student was Sean Calvert. Sean quickly emerged as the most intellectually gifted student in a very challenging and competitive class. Without any trouble, he understood the language of organic chemistry and was able to articulate chemical concepts in a clear and concise way. As a result of his amazing intellect, I invited Sean to work in my research lab as an undergraduate collaborator over the summer. He participated as a student in my Welch Foundation funded program where he worked on a project involving the synthesis of a novel pharmaceutically valuable molecules using gold catalysis. While the research program was conducted completely virtually last summer, Sean continues to impress me with his diligence and enthusiasm in the lab. Sean is currently considering attending graduate school to earn a PhD in chemistry, and I'm confident he will meet with great success in this process. Congratulations to Sean as the recipient of the Robert L. Solon Award. The American Chemical Society Award for a graduating senior is the highest honor that our department bestows. It is awarded to the student who most exemplifies high academic standards, research prowess, and future potential in the field of chemistry. This year's recipient is Ethan Iverson. I first met Ethan in my organic chemistry class, and he immediately stood out as one of the most enthusiastic and brightest students I've ever met. Ethan's quest for knowledge and his uh, outstanding personality have made him an invaluable member of our department. He was certainly a class leader, always willing to go the extra mile to help other students understand complicated concepts. As a result, he has served as a departmental sci guide for general chemistry, where younger students consistently comment on his ability to explain complex problems in a manner that anyone can understand. In addition to his work in the classroom, Ethan has conducted original research under the guidance of Dr. Willis Wiegand. His enthusiasm surrounding his synthesis of antimicrobial copper and cobalt complexes has been infectious. He has inspired students and faculty alike to become more passionate and successful in, their, in his research through his attitude. Ethan has recently been accepted to graduate school to earn a PhD in chemistry at the University of Texas Southwestern and at Texas A&M. While he has a tough decision ahead of him, I know that Ethan will be outstandingly successful regardless of what the future holds. Tex Casson was a fixture on our campus for more than a quarter of a century. In that time, he created and cultivated the kinesiology department, but his Hall of Fame coaching career and 55 years of service to the American Red Cross had a reach well beyond our campus. The Tex Casson Outstanding Student Kinesiology Award recognizes the senior kinesiology major who has demonstrated the highest level of academic excellence and leadership within the Department of Kinesiology. This year's recipient, Jacob Weibelhaus, epitomizes these standards. Jacob will graduate with degrees in both kinesiology and business. Jacob has been a seller student in class, asking questions that usually only experts know to ask. His ability to critically analyze data was evident in his capstone research project on ulnar collateral ligament reconstruction. But this award goes beyond academics. He's also a member of the football team, has taken part in educational outreach programs, and has somehow managed to find the time to work while completing his double major. Jacob, I know that you're not certain about what the future holds for you and will miss having you around, but we have no doubt that the same traits that earned you this prestigious award will lead you to success in anything you do. Congratulations from myself and the rest of the kinesiology faculty on receiving the Tex Casson Award. Dr. Jimmy Smith was a fixture on our campus for nearly three decades. He turned the kinesiology department into one of the premier undergraduate programs in the state. Central to this development was an emphasis on students as research scholars. The Jimmy Smith Research Award recognizes the senior kinesiology students whose capstone research project was of the highest merit. This year, we recognize Alexis Fortes and Ariel Mansholt with this award. Alexis and Ariel are both receiving this award, mainly because they have been inseparable for the past four years. Both played soccer, both were active in their sorority, and as one of our faculty said, both bring an inspiring and positive energy to every class. And they brought this to research as well. Alexis and Ariel worked together, and last year they designed an excellent capstone research study on the benefits of yoga. Then they got to design it again in light of the pandemic. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, they didn't accept the simpler option of choosing an easier research topic. They were able to pivot and shift the focus of their study and collect data on movement and flexibility remotely. Their ability to adapt to the circumstances to create and complete an excellent capstone project 
was impressive. This ability to adapt and excel will serve them well in their respective doctorate of occupational therapy programs. Congrats from myself and the rest of the kinesiology department on receiving the Jimmy Smith Research Award. Dr. Carla Lowry was an overachiever. Serving as Southwestern's first female department chair of kinesiology, first female athletic director, the associate dean of students and director of wellness and leisure, she left a lasting impression on our campus. This Carla Lowry Memorial Award recognizes the senior kinesiology major who most distinguished himself or herself in academic and extracurricular endeavors. Sophia Kennedy embodies the spirit of Dr. Lowry, and she has the potential to follow in her footsteps. Sophia has excelled academically with a near-perfect GPA, but this award isn't just about academics. Sophia is involved. She's taken part in nearly all the campus has to offer in her career. Athletics organizations, volunteer organizations, clubs, you name it. She's done a bit of everything. Even her senior capstone research project tackled multiple issues as she established a relationship with a local group aimed at improving the health of adults and others with intellectual and functional disabilities. The director was so impressed with Sophia that he wants Southwestern students involved with them every year. In the spirit of this award's namesake, Dr. Lowry, Sophia is also making strides in the male-dominated field of strength and conditioning. While at Southwestern, she has interned and worked with our athletes as a strength and conditioning specialist, earning national certifications from USA Weightlifting and the National Strength and Conditioning Association along the way. Her dedication and experience have earned her a graduate assistantship at West Texas A&M, one of the very few NCAA athletics programs with a female head strength and conditioning coach. Sophia, we look forward to following your success as you break down barriers and blast through stereotypes along the way. Congratulations from myself and the rest of the kinesiology faculty on receiving the Carla Lowry Award. Congratulations! Congratulations! Congrats, guys! Congratulations! Hey, everybody. My name is John Ross, and I'm an assistant professor of mathematics speaking on behalf of the math and computer science department. I would like to recognize Emily Thompson as the recipient of the Atkin Memorial Award, which also comes with a scholarship. The funds for the award were donated by John Thatcher and Genevieve Atkin in memory of their sons, John Mason and Richard Thatcher Atkin. The scholarship is awarded annually to the outstanding junior level mathematics major as determined by the departmental faculty. Now, Emily is a student who embodies the mathematics program and the Paideia experience here at Southwestern. Her coursework blends elements of both the math and computer science program, and her work at SU and beyond has been an inspiring look at how computational mathematics can be applied to many fields. Notably, she has had two summer research experiences, first with the psychology department under Dr. Karen Perilou here at Southwestern, and then the following summer at an external program at Michigan State University. Uh, in addition to these experiences, Emily has been a bedrock member of the mathematics community here and a core member of the math club. Congratulations, Emily. Hey, everyone. My name is John Ross, and I'm an assistant professor of mathematics speaking on behalf of the math and computer science department. I would like to recognize Mercedes Gonzalez as the recipient of the Ralph Whitmore Award in Mathematics. The Whitmore Award is given annually to the outstanding senior level mathematics major as determined by the departmental faculty. The award is named after a former chair of the department. Now, Mercedes Gonzalez has been an absolutely indispensable member of our department in her years here at Southwestern. She's taken just about every math class you can take and excelled in all of them. Uh, and she has also participated in our EQUIP program here at Southwestern both in 2017 as a participant, and then again in 2019 as a student coordinator. Beyond that, Mercedes has also been involved in a number of mathematical research projects. Uh, and those are both in-house research projects, like studying Monopoly under Dr. Fudamura, and external research projects, like spending a summer studying mathematical knot theory in Maryland. Uh, Mercedes has given talks, she has disseminated her work, she has published papers, and she's achieved great new results in mathematics. Uh, and these are just a few of her many accomplishments. So congratulations, Mercedes. My name is John Ross, and I'm an assistant professor of mathematics speaking on behalf of the math and computer science department. I would like to recognize Maya Fuller as the recipient of the Grogan Lord Award in Computer Science. The Grogan Lord Award is given annually to the outstanding computer science student, as determined by the departmental faculty. 
Maya has been an excellent student in every course she has ever taken in our department. I can speak to this personally in intro stats, but her computer science professors can attest to it in all of her many computer science classes. Dr. Barbara Anthony, for example, shared that Maya is someone who works hard, succeeds, and does it in a way that positively motivates others. And that's a direct quote. Unsurprisingly, Maya is a member of Upsilon Pi Epsilon, the CS Computer Science Honor Society. Beyond the classroom, Maya has been an indispensable member of the campus community. Uh, she is a co-captain of the women's soccer team this year, with accolades including offensive MVP for the 2019 SCAC tournament. Uh, she has done work for our department uh, in data entry and data analysis for Dr. Allison Marr, uh, and she has been an intern at Win Reality, helping to develop the company's virtual reality software for baseball players to improve their performance. Congratulations, Maya. Hello, I'm Professor Star Varner. The 2021 Lancaster Award for the Outstanding Senior in Studio Art goes to Ms. Lauren Mascara by vote of the faculty and in memory of Bob Lancaster. Lauren's extraordinary abilities as a double major in art and biology have led her to a very promising career in biomedical visualization. Her ambitious, intellectually driven artworks synthesize art and science, conceptual art, and traditional forms. She's adept at inventive problem solving and conceptual strategies. She also expresses an unusual sensitivity to dramatic effects of light in achromatic works, as well as nuanced color in paintings. Professor Brewer at Stephen F. Austin University chose her work for the Central Texas Art Competition, and Lauren was awarded the highest achievement among selected Keen Creativity Scholars, the Walt Potter Prize. Transitioning from school to home during the COVID quarantine, Lauren persevered with ambitious works under challenging conditions. Her ability to embrace sudden change and ambiguity and the generosity of spirit expressed in her many service contributions serve as an example to us all. Lauren, we present this book with a generous cash donation from the Lancaster Falk family with our heartiest congratulations. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Allison Miller and I am Associate Professor of East Asian Art in the Department of Art History at Southwestern. I'm delighted today to present our department's top honor to Elise Tisdale. Elise is a diligent worker, excellent writer, and careful scholar, and I was fortunate to have her in several of my classes. One of the amazing things about Elise is that she's able to write papers and conduct research on a variety of topics. In my ancient class, she wrote about astrological motifs on ancient textiles from Xinjiang. In my modern and contemporary class, she wrote about how artists refigured traditional bird subjects in painting to reflect their ideas about the direction of China's future during the Cultural Revolution and um, the scar art period that followed. This year, she embarked on her capstone project, studying the iconography of Han Dynasty money trees. I'm extremely proud of the work that Elise has completed during her time at Southwestern and look forward to seeing how she will use her gifts in the future. The music faculty is pleased to present the Mary Lynn Webb Starnes Award to Ms. Melanie Lim. Given annually since 1962, this award goes to an outstanding senior for proficiency in music performance, excellence in academic affairs, and great promise in the field of music. Beloved by her fellow students and faculty, Melanie is able to lift groups she works with to perform at their best. She possesses a wonderful mixture of warmth and wit with a let's get down to business attitude. In addition to her consistently superior academic work in a very demanding major, Melanie has demonstrated real leadership for her peers in music and in the education department alike. She has sustained a remarkable level of energy 
over the entirety of her time here. Notable among her achievements at Southwestern are her receipt of the TASPA Award, given annually to three students from across the state in any area of education, and her authorship of the Music Major Survival Guide, which is sure to become a staple of our advising sessions for years to come. Congratulations, Melanie. It is our joy and privilege to work with you, and I'm very happy to present you with the Mary Lynn Webb Starnes Award. On behalf of the music department, I'm very proud to present the Henry E. Meyer Memorial Music Composition Award to Jay Nava. Jay is an immensely talented musician with eclectic tastes and a wellspring of curiosity. In reflecting on his music, Dr. Jason Hugerhide remarked that Jay brings to his creative work a spectrum of genre interests that fuse his contemporary classical works with jazz harmony, hip hop swagger, and Beethovenian weight. This coupled with a blossoming focus on the potential of surprising voice leading and the exploration of the rhythmic value of the spoken word. The music department is very pleased to recognize Jay for his ongoing creative explorations with the Meyer Award. Congratulations, Jay. The music faculty is pleased to present the Drusilla Huffmaster Anderson Prize in Music to Ms. Maureen Rendon. Maureen came to Southwestern in the fall of 2017. She was already an accomplished pianist who, among other honors, had performed at the Wild Recital Hall at Carnegie Hall as a winner of a competition. During her time at Southwestern, she has participated both as a pianist and cellist in Southwestern's ensembles, including performances of premieres by both student and faculty composers. She's also been a member of Delta Omicron, the music service fraternity. Her other activities on campus include being co-president of HALO, the Hispanic and Latinx organization, selection as a Newman Civic Fellow, and membership in the Coalition for Diversity and Social Justice. A double major in music and political science, her future plans include graduate school and teaching piano. Congratulations, Maureen. It is our joy and privilege to be able to work with you and I'm very happy to present you with the Drusilla Huffmaster Anderson Prize. Cassidy Mayfield is receiving the Outstanding Senior Award for her distinguished service for the past three and a half years. Cassidy was a double major in theater and business who graduated in December 2020. She plans to move out of state to pursue project marketing management. While at SU, Cassidy has explored all areas of theater with a focus in performance and management. She has been an actor, vocalist, stage manager, production manager, and a theater technician in scenery, costumes, lighting, and sound. Cassidy used her strong organizational and management skills when serving as a production manager for our fall 2020 production. This production was outdoors. She skillfully managed and mentored theater students in all safety guidelines required to produce theater in a pandemic. Her inclusive management style helped make the transition workable and successful. Her collaboration with the entire production team was remarkable. Cassidy has been a leader, mentor, model student in the department, and it is an honor to recognize her as her outstanding senior recipient for the 2020-2021 academic year. The Angus Springer Scholarship is given to a rising junior for their leadership in the department. This year's recipient is Harrison Jones. He has distinguished himself for his leadership on stage, backstage, and in the classroom. Harrison has a dual emphasis in the department in the areas of performance and design. As an actor, Harrison appeared in the 2019 theater production of 12 Angry Jurors. When not on stage, Harrison has worked in the area of audiovisual communication as an assistant in sound design and as a board operator for our main stage productions. Most recently, he also was live stream videographer for our fall 2020 outdoor performance. Harrison's commitment this year was exceptionally impressive. His varied interest in growth as a theater student is commendable. 
The theater faculty also recognize and compliment Harrison for his exemplary success in all of his courses at SU. Congratulations, Harrison. The Goose Tree Morgan Award is given to an accomplished first year student who is majoring in theater and who has demonstrated commitment and leadership within the department. This award is given to Catherine Lenham. Since arriving at SU, Catherine has demonstrated her commitment to theater in many ways. Most recently, as a cast member in our outdoor theater production of Everybody, she created a performance while being masked and socially distanced, and this is not easy. However, Catherine has shown it can be done and done well. In the up upcoming spring 2021 outdoor production of the concert musical Bright Star, Catherine will be performing the role of Margot, and again will be masked and socially distanced. In the classroom, she is a thoughtful listener who also shares her views while respecting other viewpoints. The department is proud to honor Catherine Lenham with the Goose Tree Morgan Award. The Richard Hassel Award is granted to an outstanding theater student and is renewed annually until their graduation. Hannah Rutt continues to hold the award because of her continued leadership in the department. Hannah continues to distinguish herself in many ways. She has taken on leadership roles as an actor, a dramaturg, and as a technician. Her continued work in audio design was challenged by the pandemic. The safety protocols for masking and social distancing this year required Hannah to alter normal amplification procedures to follow new safety guidelines. In addition to audio reinforcement, she continues her interest in dramaturgy and is serving as the dramaturg for the spring musical Bright Star. She continues to be involved as a student employee for the Paideia program, and Hannah is involved in local professional training programs, and she continues to seek university, local, and regional opportunities for growth to maintain her status as a well-rounded theater student. The department is honored to see Hannah exceed the requirements of the Richard Hassela Scholarship. The McGoy Scholarship is awarded to an outstanding female theater student who has distinguished herself for her passion, leadership, and artistic talent. The department is honored to recognize Jamie Lynn Hodling as the recipient of this award. Jamie Lynn is a theater and environmental studies double major. Serving as stage manager for any theater production is challenging. Being an outdoor stage manager while in a, pand in a pandemic is mind boggling. Working outdoors with wind gusts, dropping temperatures, and unreliable Wi-Fi, all while being socially distanced, was something Jamie Lynn overcame. She attacks the challenge and completes it without fanfare or dramatics. When looking for a student we can rely on, Jamie Lynn is at the top of the list. We are honored that Jamie Lynn is the recipient of the Heather Jean McGoy Scholarship. The Environmental Studies Program has two awards this year, the Candida Excellence in Environmental Geographic Information Systems Award, and that will go to Leah Horick. The other award is the Jan C. Dawson Award, and for that we have two co-recipients, Leah Horick and Emmett Tessin. I'm going to try really hard to keep it to the limited amount of time because I could say so much about these students. So I'll cut out everything that we could say about scholarship and research and writing and the overall class participation that we have in so many of today's recipients. Instead, I want to talk about how wonderful these two people are and how much they've contributed to our major overall. Leah, you are an incredible and dedicated student with an awesome work ethic. In all of your writing, in all of your speeches, in all of your work, you have such careful attention to detail and you have such a dedication to sound scholarship and critical thinking. As a GIS lab instructor, helping others uh, through that tutoring and mentoring role that you played as the assistant, you helped so many students who came to me directly and said, I would never have made it through this course without Leah's help. You've also just made such a big impact on campus 
to campus organizations like SEEK, the Garden Club, and so many other student organizations. Um, you've made such an impact on campus and it's going to last for a very, very long time. Emmett, what can I say? You have been an absolute ray of light since you have arrived on this campus two years ago. You've always been positive and encouraging. You've been a true leader in every class from intro to environmental studies to capstone. I think I can speak for every other professor who will agree with me when we say that your presence in the class brings the entire learning experience to a higher level for everyone around you. You just have that kind of incredible impact on people and we've appreciated you so much. Thanks to both of you for being great student scholars, great campus leaders, and for making my job as a teacher so much more fulfilling. Congrats to you both. It is my honor and pleasure to present the Debbie Ellis Award in Excellence for Feminist Studies to Angel Ganthu. Angel is the first graduate at Southwestern with a paired major in Latin American and Border Studies and Feminist Studies, having served both programs exceptionally well. She's paved the way for future students to envision themselves studying as well at the intersection and in the borderlands of race, gender, class, ethnicity, and sexuality. Angel is an intellectual who is extremely curious. She interrogates power in so many instances. She's inquisitive diligent, creative, courageous, and compassionate. She embodies the core principles of the Feminist Studies program as a true interdisciplinary scholar, putting what she learned into practice for the greater good. She builds upon ideas, theories, and extends methodologies of the scholars she reads and takes creative risks in order to obtain a deeper understanding of the world around her and herself. Her search for knowledge is often embedded in the everyday lived realities of individuals, groups, including her own family, who are guiding force for Angel. I'm honored to serve as her professor and work with her in her important role as a researcher for the Latina History Project, where she has contributed to understandings of how stories and strategies from the past can be employed to create change and healing in the present. Thank you, Angel, for your many contributions to Southwestern and helping to shape the Feminist Studies program. Your movidas are plentiful, we see them, and we are so proud of you. Felicidades, and thank you for being part of the Feminist Studies Familia. It is such a pleasure to present to Corinne Ramirez the Excellence in Latin American and Border Studies Award, the Daniel Castro Award. This year, in 2021, you are absolutely reflective of the purposes of the award, Corinne. Dr. Castro was a fierce advocate for radical inclusivity and social justice, two things that we know are at the core of your being, as you have shown here at your time at Southwestern. From cultivating spaces of healing and resistance on campus, virtually, off campus, you have at the core of your Southwestern experience bringing others along and showing peers, faculty, students, the theoretical and methodological intellectual pursuits are important, but what's just as important, if not more so, are the ways in which we queer, how we see ourselves, how we imagine new possibilities and new futures for inclusion, for corazón, for respect. You do work that matters in the words of Anzaldúa, as you showed with your radical, innovative, Anthropology Capstone on Queering the Anzaldúa Archives. You've taught me and so many others so much through your work with the Latina History Project in classrooms and your activism. This award is extremely deserved and it is my honor and pleasure to present it to you. Felicidades and thank you so much for all the wonderful things that you've contributed to Southwestern. The many movidas will be felt for a long time. Hello, uh, I'm Mike Sanger from the English department and uh, I just want to uh, take this moment uh, to award the uh, Jason Magnan uh, Writing Prize uh, to Camille Cromwoody. Uh, on the committee, we were so pleased with uh, Camille's uh, dramatic uh, writing. It's a, a small play entitled A Comedy of Wearers. Um, it's witty, it's imaginative, one committee member said that the sense of location was extraordinarily good. And I can offer Camille this compliment from me, which is as someone who's from New York, when I saw a uh, piece of comic writing, which was located in a New York setting, um, I was ready 
to be disappointed, but I wasn't. I was very impressed with the warmth and the humor of this very imaginative piece. So I want to congratulate Camille uh, for her wonderful writing and uh, to send her the prize uh, that she's won. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us to recognize these outstanding students. The awards presented today reflect the impact they have made in their disciplinary areas of interest, as well as the university at large. Our faculty have chosen to work at Southwestern largely because they value opportunities to mentor students of the caliber honored today. I appreciate the faculty's words on behalf of each of the students today, as well as their commitment to the teacher-scholar model. Since this is a virtual recognition event, I encourage all of those of you listening to reach out to the students and congratulate them on their various awards. Thank you again for joining us today.